First of all, welcome to everybody. And please let me introduce the background of the workshop today. The, the Hong Kong and Bangkok workshop series is part of a government-funded project under the Professional Service Advancement Support Scheme, PASS. The project aims to promote interior designers exchange in new international markets and to interact with international designers. The workshop tonight will feature two speakers to share their experience in Thailand and China. Let me introduce them. They are Mr. Anand Paro, founder of Anand Paro Design Studio from Thailand. And Mr. Alistair Lung, the director and head of interiors of Ronald Lu and Partners. Mr. I'm sure you will enjoy the event tonight. Before the workshop starts, may I now invite Mr. Joey Ho, the chairman of HKIDA, to share a few words with us first. Joey, please. Hello. Um, first of all, thanks for coming. And uh, we call it a workshop, so you make yourself relax and uh, don't be so serious, okay? <laughs> because uh, the idea of the whole workshop, we have uh, actually three parts. So today is the first. Um, and we have um, very important guests from Bangkok and also we have our, some of our uh, local famous designers to, to share with you um, not only the design but I think um, the focus it will be on how um, to engage a new market and also uh, some insights. So um, let's... Um, um, but, but I think before they start, um, let me just share with you previous lecture we had, uh, also a sharing with um, the designers from mainland China and also some of our local designers and we have a very good uh, feedback because um, I think that's what we all need right now to have um, different perspective about our um, um, professional. So. I hope today um, this, we will bring you another um, series of my brewing and also especially like open your new concept about uh, working uh, overseas. So thank you for all coming. Thank you. Thank you, Joey. Uh, may I now invite uh, Mr. Alan Powell, Alan, the founder of Alan Powell Design Studio, to share the experience with us. Please. Hello, I'm Anon Tyro from Bangkok. So this is our first time here also. Here I mean, I, first time in the mill. Hong Kong is like a, my home also. <laughs> I come every two months. So, uh, today is a good day also because uh, we start to have Prime Minister. This is the first day for my Prime Minister also. He is, uh, he's, uh, he's from military, five years. Just, uh, we have uh, election for four months. Mm. But we cannot count the word four months. Normally one day we, we could know, but for this time, four months. So, okay, they announced just uh, last night, he still stay to take care of our country more for years. Yeah. So right now he's not from military, he's from election already. So that's good for designers because they don't know too much about design. <laughs> um, start is me, yeah, in Thailand. Yeah. <laughs> this is my job. Very simple. This is what Cran work with me. Really simple. <laughs> but for me, this is a, a kind of promotions for our studio. Uh, for the design week, uh, what designer can do. And they choose this 
a photo to make a poster around Thailand. What designer can do for Bangkok? Oh, sorry. Okay. Okay, let's start for a uh, short in introduction. This is uh, my project. I'm start the project from product design. Okay. Uh, my plan is start from small product uh, to the interior, architect, and landscape. I'm start uh, my studio from 2007 until nowadays, uh, 12 years already. And my staff uh, from first three, uh, from three, first three, three years is almost uh, 30, 38 persons. But right now, uh, we make it smaller, but split it uh, to focus on, the, on that business. So, for the quickly, you can search me on the Wikipedia. It's easier to explain what I do, but for this time, I will have this fast. Mm. And right now, we have an anonymous designer yeah, from Uganda. <laughs> no, right now, uh, when our country government uh, try to control the gateway, a lot of uh, unknown people come to uh, be my partner. But I never know. I never met him before. I don't know why they come. So, for, uh, for faster uh, uh, concept, my studio work focus for two things, design and art. What I learned from, from my projects. I think uh, design, we do it to understand market. For art, to understand branding. In the business size, we also uh, not just design for marketing, but we also understand to work with creative strategy. And in the art direction size, also make a customer engagement. So, for my projects, not just focus for objective for the business. Sometimes we need to create a subjective for the branding. And also right now, not just design for productivity and application also important nowadays. So for me, I am start to be designer from 2000s, already old. And after that, the problem in Thailand for that time, they don't know how to work with designer. Because the things if you are a designer, people around my hometown, they think I'm a fashion designer. So that means I need to work and help client, not just for design, but I need to research before design. And after design, we need to help them how to sell, how to exhibit, how to open uh, their own uh, brand. More than that, we need to work with marketeer to understand how to promote, how to uh, make the engagement with customer. So my team expanding, not just for designer, but my team start from uh, designer and I find uh, staff to expert different uh, field from my experience. In the other hand, also in the art side, because Thai people is like an artist also. Sometimes it's easy to talk. Sometimes it's very hard to talk also. So, <laughs> so uh, in 
So it's like a, we need to work between context and contents. So uh, for me, that means I need to work like a art direction for the project also. And what is the contents for that project? We need to have team to understand uh, everything. Hotels, department store, they want to uh, tell the customer everything is like an art. Lighting is art, floor art, wall art, everything art. So uh, it's like a value uh, asset, uh, asset uh, artistic value for the projects. Uh, the good thing what I uh, create a business like this, so that means I collect people for marketing size, economic size, people to understand government, people to understand uh, technicians. So that that means I uh, our projects, our boundaries for the project is bigger, not just products, but detail of everything. But because we need to work with architect, we need to work with interior design, we need to work with landscape design, and Thai client, they really love it because they want someone to work in the gap of some, uh, uh, some projects also. This is my job also. Uh, start from design, curate the show, uh, the contents, consultant business, and make the uh, artistic for that project. This is me. We need to change, I need to change myself every day. Because uh, the first day I need to meeting with the owner. The second day, maybe I need to meeting with uh, uh, the technician, contractors, suppliers. Another day, we need to work with the, like a labor skills to understand everything. So I need to change my, my face, smile, make it really local sometimes, make it really international sometimes. It's a Thai style. This is me. I'm totally changed from now, right? Like a boy band. So uh, I'm start to study about product and focus for transportation design and got the scholarship from Ford Automobile in 2000, uh, to uh, 1999. And the good thing, what I study with Ford Automobile, car is like a car, to design car is everything. It's like a home, but can move. People go inside, they need interior. They, we need to decide the interior to fit with the technologies in that year. And technology also changes every year. Lifestyle of the uh, people's lifestyle of the society also changes. Because a uh, long time ago, people go to shopping mall. Nowadays, people will not go to shopping mall. We can order system uh, and the features of the interior design also change. So that's a good thing one I learned from uh, Ford Australia. Nowadays, this is a uh, news from the Singapore. I have an exhibition one about the uh, art scene. Almost all the photos for me is like it. Uh, it represents something like a Thai style. Uh, mistake. We learn from mistake because we need to create something new. So, for the starter, I I believe something about it. Uh, Thai, uh, we are the country to survive for colonization. Because we not fight with anyone. When Japan come, okay, welcome. American come, welcome. German come, welcome. So that's why we survive. The good thing one, because uh, for that period from the World War II, we, we never have university or any school before. 
So my university is uh, founded by German design houses. Uh, it's like a Fachhochschule in German. It means 50% theory, 50% practice. To understand furniture, I need to learn about uh, welding metals. To understand plastic, I need to go to the factory. So that's a good thing one I, uh, we got from German. Uh, from the last World War II, a lot of German stayed Thai. And we are the first country to, uh, in ASEAN to, to build BMW Volkswagen from that period. But the sad thing, we built that car from the metal sheet right now when German go back, we cannot build anything anymore. They bring everything back also. That's a, uh, that's a crazy thing for Thai people. But the good thing one, we, for that time, we never have engineering before, right? We, we don't know what is engineer. We don't know what is designer. But we can make the flat metal to be car for that time. We change from farmer to be technician to understand uh, mechanical uh, engineer drawing. Uh, I saw the blueprints. They need to write German to be English, from English to be Thai. But I don't know how they talk each other to be a car. So this is my, my dad, also farmers from, uh, from that period. I try to think why, uh, why my brain always thinks about design. Mm. It's my dad, yeah. Because uh, I need to, uh, when I start to go to abroad, went to abroad, uh, my dad tried to find the way to send me every new year or birthday like this mm -hmm. to surprise me. And my sister, this animal never have in Thai. I don't know my dad can find this, uh, this for me. And he never say anything to send the photo for me. But the good thing one is like uh, our cultures. It's my uh, prime minister and the press. They put the microphone on the floor because sunshine too strong. This Thai style, the, we we uh, is no no perfect regulation. We can adapt anything because it's too hot. Sorry, Prime Minister, and Prime Minister also put the speaker here. Mm. Uh, when I was young, we have the brick flat. Yeah, brick flat. Long time ago, we have cons the good consultant from Netherlands to prepare the canals for the urban planning. But it's really long time. And uh, one year, uh, maybe it's like a 10 years ago, 10 or 15 years ago, before is uh, the first year I set up the studio. So the water is coming from everywhere, Laos, Burma, because we are the country close to the Gulf. Uh, so this is the way what Thai people solve the problem. We adapt our lifestyle. Hey, it's not just problem. We can stay and enjoy. A lot of mistakes happen around Bangkok. This is a bestseller one on the eBay from Bangkok. The name is Nawana, but the skin handsome. The first time they think this, this is the funny thing. But right now, if you go to Khao San, this is the number one good seller. Do you know motorcycle, uh, taxi, right? So I always, uh, my eyes always find something like this. They find a, a little space to stay because the uh, government not allow to build anything. But 
people want to use this service. So they set up something like this. Not worry about danger because uh, they want money more than uh, more than the hospitals. So this this uh, the way of Thai people how to uh, solve the problems. When we have small space, we can pee together, closer, more friend. Sometimes they not ask injury designer to solve problem. They solve by themselves. Sometimes architect not talk with the urban planning. Uh, they build something by their own. Sometimes they solve problem. We we need to solve problem by ourselves. Hmm. This happened uh, many times when I grew up, but I don't know why. They many people they don't think this is problem. But when when we are designer, we think what what the hell is it, right? Sometimes we don't know what is a mistake from designer or contractor or the owner. Why why they still create this thing? This is also amazing one. I don't know how to write the, the elevation for this also. But I don't know how to build it. But for me, it can be a new idea to work and more fun. This also the garden. Government said we need to prepare for the wheelchair. At least like a six mat, okay, six mat, and after then, uh, they they not care about what is the regulation. They just build from order. Yeah. Sometimes Grant also ask for how to control the cost and budget. This is the way interior Thai designer do. Yeah, hybrid. Yeah. It's the exciting one. So they spend life like a normal thing. Up again. So we, up, uh, we know about this because social media is start up to snap and share. Hey, this is problem. But they build something like this like uh, more than five years. And not so, and uh, nobody say, when Facebook come, they snap and say, hey, it's maybe somebody make it wrong. Mm. Many things about which I is happen a lot. If uh, you, you imagine wheelchair come, <laughs> how to open? When it open, they back again, <laughs> right? How to stop? It's a funny thing when, when they try to, to build something. Uh, this uh, I think it's a, a summit or it's an Iceland. Uh. This a uh, government uh, building because uh, they announced every building need to prepare for wheelchairs. So. Super extreme. I think it's, they could change for the skateboard. It's better. It's very high. And I really love the mistake when I walk to the size. So that's why, this is why my job is a lot in Thailand to renovate the new project. Because sometimes new project also they when when the economy is coming they want to make it faster, yeah. Contractor just make it from the drawing. And one thing for my studio, I think that it's happened for outside for my studio also happened. They want to 
uh, make a sandwich cheese, but we don't have microwave for that time. They flip the, uh, the oven to be like this, and it works also. It's happened on traffic jam. So this is a Thai culture. So it pushed me to uh, to be uh, one guy from that time. So I, I just make a, this, this thing and I send it to German. And the Ch German design culture, they think this is a very, very innovative. But for me, it's a very lazy because <laughs> I just make it yeah, really simple uh, because I grew up uh, in the plastic time. I don't have any skill for weaving. I just tell the the craftsman I don't know how to make patterns. Can can we start to make really simple just just lining? So it happened to be new uh, new concept uh, from the handcraft and. The good thing one, uh, I'm start to exhibit this time in 2006, and start to have network in Europe from these projects. Uh, this project is pair chair. Pair just mean like a peeling the the materials. Uh, these are rattan, and when I peel links, it's easier to bend. Uh, and after that, we show the 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 real material, the core of the material. We show the sections the, of the materials to be imperfect, uh, imperfect uh, section can be the, the new beauties. For this time, I start to meet like uh, many factories. They asking me to help them about how, uh, how to build up new brand, new product, new interior uh, products. Uh, from 1990, uh, I think uh, the crisis is start from 1997. <laughs> so the big crisis happened in Bangkok. Many factories, it's like a one day from that, uh, from that year, one dollar is about, uh, one dollar is about 60 baht or 70 baht. After the next day, what the line is about? Oh, no, no. The, the first day, nah, one, one baht is about 25, and the next day, 70 baht. So that means uh, a lot of import products, engineers, properties, they need to pay more when they uh, form loan money from the outside. Many orders also stop. That's the same year I start to study design. I visit the factory, no orders. Because they move to China from this, for that period. Uh, from that time, I think it's a bad luck for the design student, right? Because economy is going crazy. Central world, Paragon, they're planning already and stop. Because uh, many people, many uh, owners, they run away from the country. So, in the other hand, it's a chance for designer to visit factory because every factory welcome. They want to invent many things. They want to try many things with designers. So I visit one factory, they create pencils. Very simple, but they don't know how to sell pencil anymore because uh, everybody use pen. And after that, iPad and email. We can imagine, uh, I don't know, imagine, uh, you can imagine last time you use pencils, how long? So the factory need to go on. So I asked them to create some silicone joists. Because one pencil is like a, I think really super cheap pencil from wood. I asked them to, to 
if I want to make wood same size like a pencil, the wood factory cannot produce cheap like a pencil factory because it's automatic machine, and they loan money a lot uh, to to buy the machine. But right now they don't have order. I give them the idea. Don't think to produce pencil anymore. No market. I ask them to build something from uh, for the projects. I produce something for the new hotels. I create uh, lighting and some lamp from the pencils. Clients are so happy because it's cheap. The factory are so happy because it's expensive to to sell pencil like a lamp. So, this idea happened because uh, maybe it's, I bring the, some culture from Thai people. Don't think that is a bad luck. Maybe it's a good luck for Thai people to, to, uh, to stay with the bad situations. From that time also, this uh, porcelain from Germany, is, uh, Kaiser porcelain. Uh, when I exhibit my work in Cologne, I also meet a lot of uh, factory and supplier for interior stuff. Uh, this, uh, this project has a uh, Red Dot Award. It was my idea uh, start from to make the free form chef from the cut of the ceramic bone china. The problem of the ceramic 100% of the ceramic scale of the ceramics earlier a lot. 40% is defect because the total uh, productions, the heat from the wall uh, from the from the source cannot pass to the center. That means every piece of the ceramic is not the same size. 40% loss. So I change the concept. If uh, if every piece not defect, but it can lock together, so it will become the uh, idea concept for uh, this project we call the Gason. That means the pollen of the flower. Uh, they can combine together and they can spread out together and easier to build a mass production. In the other size, I also meet the Swarovski supplier. They make uh, aluminum, aluminum materials. The first thing they build uh, before I meet them, they they are suppliers for for European brand like a Swarovski for the local market. They create, they they make a Buddha sculpture. So from from my period, I think one home, maybe they we have one Buddha enough. <coughs> so that means the market is not grow up. For that time, I have a, one project for Capellini in Italy to run the prototypes. So I give them, uh, give him the idea uh, about sales, because aluminum for sand casting is open more, right? Like a craft process. The, uh, for the craft process, aluminum we have a lot of pinholes. We cannot control. If the order want to make the perfect square, they cannot produce. I don't know why. It's maybe it's about technologies, about material engineering they don't, they don't have. So I said, okay, if they cannot make a uh, perfect uh, rectangular, make it free form. And after then, I make big pinhole randomly, like this. No 3D printing, hand, every piece. But the good thing one, I need to work close, closely with the technician and craftsman to understand how the aluminum melt 
and run in this way, this way. So I need to work one by one. The good thing one, I'm not design furniture. I decide how to create furniture from aluminum. So, uh, more than that, we start to, the factory, they don't know how to sell. I need to make video, promote, advertise, work closely with the developer to promote the new ideas. Uh, this project is a successful one. Uh, we, uh, we got the first million from this project in 2007. Because we also, I, I, I work closely with the factory owner, they are also happy because only one design can produce for many clients. We not uh, for the techniques. When we think about design, it's not just solve the problem about furniture, but we solve the problem about productions. So the first thing we think to create some uh, something less of the materials, less of defect. So. More than that, we create panels for the wall holding, we create facade for the buildings. So that's why I got the first million from this project. Mm -hmm. And Wallpaper Magazine also come to see. They want to see, oh, they, want, they think this is high technology in Thailand. No, it's totally craft. So they bring a lot of European model come. Not the, no, no 3D printing, CNC, hand, only hand. And right now, uh, it's uh, still continue produ produce from 2006, 2007 until nowadays. So it's the good luck for this project is, so uh, when it's still produced, it's like it will be is become to be passive income every three months commission. This project, when uh, for from the last for that project, I continue to meet Philip Star Network uh, to work some uh, like a centerpiece or special special piece for Star Network from 2010. Uh, yeah, 2010. Because I think the first idea, because the owner of the hotel, they don't want everything from Philip Stark for the full hotels. But they don't want to buy uh, any design from, uh, from another designer. They want to commission design to, uh, to produce exclusive for the hotels. Uh, These are mama shelters in France. And, and this also, this, <laughs> not this, this, okay. The concept, mostly I'm work collaborative with the uh, aluminum factories to produce uh, like a, a sculpture piece uh, for Stark Network. Oh, super bright. Ah, so fast. Because in time we cannot make uh, perfect so far, like a letter of history. So, okay, if you cannot perfect, you make super mistake. Easier. Yeah. After the, the letter project, I start to meet uh, uh, Fendi. The campaign is about uh, Fato Amano, back to make by hand. I think Amano is mean, Mano is mean hand, Fato is make. The, yeah, I'm a lucky man, uh, stay 
right time in the right place. I need to, tra to, to train with Fendi. The first idea, I think, later, it just, just later, why we need to train. But for Fendi, it's not later, it's about big business, about cow, about meat, about steak. Later, if you want to have good letter, you need to have good farm, good cow. And every part of letter, they have function each other. This part is for back, this part for bill, this part for chew. They collect it from cow. So I need to trade with them like a six month with this guy from Italy. Mm. So uh, for, that, for that campaign, it's like a world campaign. Select one designer from one country. I think Hong Kong also have for that time. Uh, I'm proposed to make a boxing stuff, like a Thai boxing stuff, but make everything from hand. The collection from that bag is a cellular collection. Every hole punched by hand. From that, for that time, I think designers need to study about high technologies, laser machine, CNC machine. But for that time, Fendi looking for some designer work with handmade. So it's a good good luck for me to, to meet them in the right time. I make I create the uh, Thai boxing stuff. <laughs> okay, quickly, five minutes. Okay, Thai boxing stuff for Fendi. After work with them, it's not just about design, but I understand the global business uh, in that time also. Design is like a performance for everyone. For this time, design is everything for every product. Everything created from designer, but sometimes we don't know who designed it. Right? When I back to Thailand to create the studio, I, can, I go back to study about the ordinary product from craft. And to twist the idea from the handcraft mixed with the mass production factory. This, uh, they produce Christmas stuff. They cannot sell anymore because it's cheap. Uh, in China, it's cheaper a lot. So we change them to mix between craftsmanship and industrials. This project still produced in the Philippines. We just create a pattern and people around the factory can work with the factories. One thing the owner of the factory, they want, design something not easy to copy, but easy to produce in their factory. Very complicated. And interior designer also, hey, Anon, it's hollow, it's too bright for, uh, for the interior. But the shadow is nice. I said, if it's too bright, you buy more. <laughs> Interior designer also, oh, buy more, it look nice, okay. So this project is good one because uh, for, for the lamp, they sell like a set, not just one piece. And after then, we, we can uh, adjust the technique to be another things because we not, I'm not start to decide from the chip, but I'm start to decide from the before design techniques, how to produce, how to work with the local people. <coughs> this also uh, our work, our product. We create, <laughs> okay. Uh, Kenneth Kongkwe, designer in Philippines. Uh, also have a lot of chain store around the world right now. 
So they asked me to design a workstation, but outdoor. I asked them why people want to work outdoor. Because right now, they want hotel want to sell the space. It's like the lifestyle. Got a long time ago, the computer is big, right? But right now we have iPad, laptop. They want to convince the uh, uh, the hotels, hey, let's make workstation to show off. We go out, we go outside to show off, not just for work. We put the laptop for show off, not for work. Really complicated projects. <laughs> so they want to work and also show off. And this uh, workstation they put on around the toilets. And the good thing one hotel also can sell F and B when they go out from the room. And one thing I start to work with the French brand Forestier. And this is Dominic, the owner, bring me to visit the Philippines craft factories. The good thing I want, I know Abaja is like a local plant in Philippines. They, they make is like a for Christmas gift box. It's like a very simple gift box, like a square. Or maybe gift box for the supermarket, like a cheap things. So I twist that technique to be the new characteristic for forest here. Mm. So when we put some pattern, like a more modernized, more organized, can produce like an industrial, but it still look like a really craft and eco. And this is a good seller one. And make it slim, can stack small box, factory happy, owner happy. For the full collection, so that means when we know how to work with the local people, how to make it easy, but hard to copy from China, from China that's a good concept one. <laughs> yeah, so for this year, they split every part, like uh, this from Philippines, this from uh, Croatia, this from Portuguese. I don't know why they need to split everything, but I think if come to China, easier. Okay. Boop, boop. This is also the project I start to work with Chinese uh, factories. They produce the film for the speakers, for the subwoofers. So, I, I bring that material to produce new lamp chain to make it super flat. But the good thing is one, the pattern can make uh, the, how we call, more, more lay effects when it overlap each other. When the lighting cross, the pattern dis disappear. This is a good seller one when I work closely with the materials. And I don't know why they put my photo like that also. <laughs> so quickly projects, I came back to work with the local materials. Kasawa. Kasawa is a material to make a sticky noodle. Kasawa. It's like a marijuana. So, so Thailand, we produce this number one in the world because it's cheapest in the world. Mm. That's why they export a lot. The mainly export, we export to Japan. They produce uh, MSG, Ajinomoto, yeah. mm. like this, like a mountain. But the farmer is super poor. Mm. Mm. So I changed, I built up the new project with a startup. Yeah. 
to produce brand ecologies, transform the uh, this material with the compressed uh, compression molding from the plastic factory to produce eco process. And I design the pattern from the molecule of the cassava, just being it bigger like a molecule for the materials. It's like a two modular system, triangle and pentagon. Easy to produce, stack, small box. And the good thing one, the material can be glue. Because the, this material also produce glue. Mm. So that's why it's like a stem. Just water, they stick it together. Mm. Same concept. It's too dark. Buy more. <laughs> but the idea, we need to set up how interior center can easier to use. And it fit on our project because uh, when it's low tech, the good thing one it's easy to maintenance. The owner know how to maintain. Because sometimes uh, we use a lot of LED. The owner, they, can, they don't know how to fix it. Maybe we need to change off the all system. But when I work with the local factory, it's very really easy to explain how to use. And if they have more problem, buy more. <laughs> mm. uh, I give them back one. So I think for quickly, I. Uh, Pass quickly about the entry and the hotel projects. So it's like a work collaborative with, uh, with the architect firm. But my job is about uh, find the art directions and philosophy for the branding. Mm, 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 mm. Hard rock, really simple project. I bring all waste from beer can, from aluminum, casting. Everything again to make a wall panel. Mm. They're really happy because save cost for them. Mm. Pay less, but got more, I, uh, more uh, concept for the interior. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you, thank you, Anne. Thank you. Is there any questions for Alan for now? Okay. <laughs> and may I now invite Mr. Alistair, the Director and Head of Interior of Royal New and Palace, to share his experience in China. Hi, everyone. Uh, it's uh, 8.15, so... Um, <laughs> I'm hungry, you're hungry, but um, I'm happy actually here, come here to share um, some of the thinkings um, that we have. And when I was invited, uh, first of all, it's actually, I thank you, Hong Kong IDA, to invite me to, to share some of the um, uh, experience uh, that we have um, from our company. Um, somehow, oh, okay, I, I, I don't want you to chill your head, okay, so I'll just stand over here a little bit more. Um, um, so I, I kind of uh, understand the title, I mean the, the discussion title today, but I think it's actually, my personal feeling is the title is a little bit too academic or too wide. Mm -hmm. So uh, I don't know what to do actually. So I, I told my uh, colleagues to say, uh, maybe I just recycle some of my previous um, slideshows or whatever you would name it, to uh, just share with you um, um, some of our experience. Um, Hang on a minute, okay. Um, can we go back to the front? <laughs> <laughs> Just end the bell point and go back to the front. <laughs> Thank you. Um, um, previously, Aaron saw us um, a lot of good works and um, um, talking about design art, okay, and also, of course, in, he, he go into a very good um, using art as a business. 
Uh, I'd like to share with uh, everyone here tonight is actually um, more or less a, um, how do I say, uh, on the uh, business side, okay? Because to us, uh, or to myself, is actually design is not just art. In fact, it's a economic or economy issue. So, uh, um, so I'd like to share some of the practice we have uh, with everyone tonight to, uh, to hopefully the, um, you might agree with it that design is something that we feel is um, uh, besides from uh, uh, aesthetic, art, or self-satisfaction, we're talking about a economy here. Um, anyway, um, does it work now? How do I do this? Okay. Now, okay, um, um, I'm Alistair. Um, I uh, work with World New Republic. Uh, I believe the, most of the people in Hong Kong, I hope, okay, uh, know who is one of the partners. Or if someone doesn't know, uh, I'm going to just give a five minutes introduction, not going into the details. And then uh, I'm going to show everyone a, a slideshow, which is actually I'm go I recycled it from my last year, you can say, talk in Beijing uh, uh, to talk about design and a, a issue, that, which I would uh, elaborate a bit more later on. Oh. I have to do this. No, not working. Which one is that? Oh, okay. No, I'll try. No. Which one is that? Sorry about that. Okay. Um, one of the partners, um, a. Um, you can say an architectural firm in Hong Kong. I'm sure that um, some of the uh, uh, local architects know us. So I'm not going into details. We're basically looking for a, uh, uh, hopefully we're trying to do some good architectural jobs, and interior jobs for the, for the, for Hong Kong and China and the world, okay? And uh, just going short, it's actually, uh, we are 43 years old. We have offices in China, four offices in China. We are now talking about 500 something people, professionals. And uh, yeah, we consider ourselves is kind of a big firm, uh, but uh, uh, we try a lot to do a, uh, a corporations. Okay, we try a lot to do corporations. And uh, oh, nothing. Okay, thank you. Um, uh, we we work hard. Okay, I mean, so many years uh, we're getting awards and. Uh, we, we try to tell people that actually uh, our quality is uh, being recognized uh, kind of from uh, the part of Asia and the world. And then architectural side, basically we build everything, okay, you name it. Um, so high-rise building, development, uh, that's the recent C2 Center in Kowloon West. Uh, I personally like it and I also personally don't like it. So, so um, and then we are, uh, we're doing a lot of residentials. At one point in the Hong Kong high density residential, we, uh, we designed almost 40% of Hong Kong's high rise um, residentials. Anyway, um, I'm representing interior, okay? Those, those are architects mm -hmm. um, <laughs> or architecture. I'm representing interiors. Uh, one of the interiors basically have some personalities. We, we go into projects that is actually very much concerned about the project's positioning, okay? We, we're looking for architectures, for the interior architecture. We definitely need to synergize art and design together. This is actually our interior, um, you can say, personalities. And uh, of course, recently we've been uh, recognized uh, with a few, um, I mean, organization, including this one is actually organized by UK, but they're giving us something good uh, in Asia. Also in Chile, we specialize uh, executive office, um, luxurious brand hotels, uh, definitely go into residential, cup house and high-end residential. All right, this is me. Um, I'm an interior architect, um, studied in Hong Kong, Hong Kong Polytechnic, then go to the US, uh, study over there, work there. Uh, I also work for some big uh, brand strategies, so I learned something. Later on, I work for uh, I mean, I, I work for many uh, brands, which is actually a sign of the uh, confidentiality, so I, can tell, I cannot tell you some of the brands that 
that I was involved, which is actually in the daily market. I'm also a design trainer. Uh, I used to be a uh, director of a design school in Singapore. Anyway, um, how do I say? I, 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 as I mentioned, I recycled a talk that I gave uh, in Beijing to a group of professionals. And why I want to share this is actually not the, mostly not the content of the talk. It's, it's one to share with people because um, for my interior department, I have almost 90% of business or design projects in China. So I need to know how to communicate with them. And I need to, oh, I make a lot of mistakes, honestly speaking, at the beginning, okay. I, I thought I'm going, I'm professional. My design is so good, so you buy it. They don't, okay, at the beginning. So now later on, I try to learn how to work with them. And uh, of course, I, I'm not saying turning myself into a, uh, you can say, mainland China designer, because I'm still thinking that I, I have some advantage or values or, or or you can say competitive edge, being a designer uh, outside China. I mean, being a designer outside Hong Kong. I mean, in Hong Kong, and then um, get some international exposure. So, so uh, later on, I learned how to work with them. Uh, everybody, if they have experience in China already, that a uh, lots of China clients, they love listening to stories. Okay, whether it's actually true or not. I mean, you can elevate them. To almost to the moon, and then they don't give it them a project. It's actually down on the earth, mm -hmm. so they don't care. They, at the beginning, they like to hear stories, and then later on, they say, "Okay, how do I do it?" Okay, they always say, "How do I do it?" And if you say, "Okay, this is it," okay, they don't buy it. They always want you to hold their hands. One, two, three, four, five. This is the way that actually I learned. But I'm not talking about a a, a particular technique. But I'm just using this. The other day, they're telling them what is design because in China, uh, many designers in China actually they are they're, they're uh, how do I say they're catching up or meeting to the world standards right now. But many of the chat designing market, they still was um, how do I say um, they more concentrate on on aesthetic and appearance. They're talking about creating a a logo for themselves or, or a motif for themselves in the market, something like that. So they, they kind of a little bit forgot what is actually design means to, to my to my word, okay? Uh, my word is actually design is an economy. It's one economy that actually you need to look into. So I'm using a, a couple of uh, chances to work with them the other day. And this is actually, I'm not I'm not presenting this is a, to a client, I'm presenting to a to a design conference the other day in China, but I I, of course, I'm an, I um, make some surgery on that and change the, uh, some of the wording, take out some of the wording and change that into a, a uh, English wording. So basically, they hopefully can share with everybody. The other day, I'm using this is actually a starting slide as a topic, say, what is now in future, uh, in design, okay? And uh, uh, by telling our China counterpart, you can say, um, how do we work with you, or how do you see the design from, you can say, you can say either our point of view or actually the way it should be, rather than just say, copy something you feel nice about it. And uh, definitely say, okay, now versus future means no one will actually see what it actually means, okay? So many designers say, okay, I'm designing something is so forward looking. So, uh, how do I say, uh, uh, departing whatever is actually existing. So, so, so contemporary, but no one actually see what is actually the future. In the future, we might envision some floating vehicles, okay? Now, I, I'm not talking about this. I'm talking about how to communicate with them. I, I, I think, I see now from the Fifth Element movies, okay, telling them actually the story start now is actually, in the future we might envision some floating vehicle, which, which is actually coming. I mean, I'm sure some people, if, in case they, are, they go into the, the scientific technology, or whatever, these are the things coming up. I, I believe maybe 10 years, 20 years, they might have something in, in running on the street. Then I'm telling them, say, in the future, you might envision Definite AI, okay. We we are using AI anyway, so I'm also taking something from Elysium for the movie. So hopefully building up the uh, 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 interest on listening what a designer want to want to do. 
And then um, definitely in our future world because of our technology, of our, you can say, okay, today China just launched the 5G licensing. So we're talking about AI. So everything goes to simple. So everything is very simple in the future. So simple, okay, also taking up from <laughs> oblivion. So in the future, maybe everything is so simple, you don't really see a lot of things around you in terms of living environment. But however, we might also in the future talking about lots of pollution. Okay, we're talking about big issue right now, bad pollution, brain runners, okay, we're talking about huge issue about pollution. The skies every day is actually orange. People need to live inside. In the future, we're talking about contradictions. Okay, we, we're fighting each other from different society. Um, okay, U.S. and China fighting right now in terms of trade. In the future, we might be fighting robots. So this is actually what we're talking about. So, so our China kind of actually the kind of start. Hey, okay, what are you going to do? So the engaging them. Okay, this is actually how how we need to work with clients in China. In fact, we're talking about we can always choose to be a better one or the other way around, which is also I took something out from the Elysium, the movies. And um, then giving them some, some background because, okay, we, we, I, I, I bring them up to the moon way now, so I need to bring them down again. And so I say, okay, ancient people chose to rely on each other. I mean, so means that actually we are cities, okay? If our ancient ancestors, whatever, they don't chose to rely on each other, so we don't have cities, okay? I mean, London, Oxford Street, in I don't know which year is that, still with the carriage uh, nowadays. So we're talking about some kind of a culture development. And then, uh, well, we choose to be comfortable, okay? And uh, I don't know, my, my grandma's stage. So at that time, I mean, very nice curly hair, big refrigerator. I mean, they're putting this in the living room rather than your kitchen right now because though, at that time, it, it's, a, it's a big piece of invention. And because of that, we're talking about interior design. Okay, so, so so at that time we are actually, oh, okay, now we're talking about interior design rather than actually talking about space or thing, whatever. So this is how we tell stories. And then um, we choose the internet, big data, virtual worlds, okay, our Iron Man over there. And then then we bring them back into reality, talking about how we look at design right now. What comes next in our living? Okay, um, of course, I'm, I'm using some of our jobs as a background with the slides, give them some tease. In fact, the story is actually, we're talking about lifestyle right now, all the lifestyle under the economy that we're in, we're talking about positioning. This is actually uh, around also saying the branding, positioning strategy, something like that. If you don't choose your good positioning, you can't get into the right lifestyles. Everybody talking about design as a lifestyle right now. But on the other hand, what is mean by lifestyle is actually you choose a position. Do you 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 are living in this economy or city, whatever? So so it means that if a designer kind of say, okay, I want to get your client a kind of lifestyle. Did you understand where they are right now? You need to understand where they are. Okay. So so this is actually what we're talking about. And then uh, I'm using some projects the other day in the talk, um, showing them. Uh, what we're talking about. This is actually a job that we, we did in, in Shanghai, um, getting some awards and as, as a hotel. And nowadays, um, when we're talking about hotel interiors, particularly this kind of thing, a lifestyle hotel, we, we don't talk about how luxuries that we're talking about. We don't talk about how, how we find that we're talking about. We're talking about how we live in that environment. So we, we're talking about uh, a lot of, uh, you can say, uh, human activities, uh, 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 daily, daily, I mean, you say something like that. And um, in China, honestly speaking, we used to be going to uh, doing projects that got a lot of budget. And uh, after, say, the last 10 years, 15 years, they, they learned already. So they are looking for a designer that you can help them to elevate them, honestly speaking, or preaching to the, the nowadays. Um, uh, international economy. So we're talking about lots of 
new kinds of approach in terms of design rather than okay, I mean how 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 nice is that that actually you can use that materials or 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 uh, put in the design chairs or you design something. And uh, this is actually also my personal opinion too. Don't design something. I, I but you may not agree with that, okay? But don't design something that is only good looking at in the photo of the magazines. They are museum pieces, okay? You're supposed to design something that actually got people to use them, okay? If your customers use your design more, it means you're more. Your it means you're more successful. I mean, just like Ron's products, many people bought it, it's actually designed it's more successful. If you design only something that is actually like a museum, you, 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 to me, to my standard, is actually new and not that successful. So we need to educate how the China client talking about, okay, how do you, I mean, approaching a, a uh, uh, interior uh, project. So I'm using this the other day talking about, hey, the new lifestyle because of the positioning issue how do you approach a project rather than, okay, I, I pick a nice chair, I, I pick a nice, um, you can say, finishes. And this brand, which is actually a, a high house brand, we're talking about lifestyle is actually with no boundaries. We're talking about lots of sharing space. We're talking about lots of, um, you can say, um, uh, uh, activities and functions that you need to accomplish in a one, I mean, one open space. Um, we have we are watching over. We are observing this kind of um, um, lifestyle that or people that was working in China, which is actually you can say moving it from the international world to the um, to Hong Kong. Um, there was a saying that nowadays um, the actual design brief is actually how to help your client to move around your interior space daily and be successful. And they're taking care about all their needs. Okay, everybody got your handphone, everybody got your iPad right now, they move around, they can sit down, okay, they can punch things, they can actually get some, I mean, win some money from the stock market. Then they say, okay, after this business, they move to the other side, talking to their friends, chatting, social thing, and then they move on. So it's actually a, a migration, or it's actually a, a mobile thing. So these are the things that we need to educate or how do we talk with our China client and say, don't just build a room, okay, with four walls and ceiling. How do you open that up? But the function happened here, doesn't border on the other side, but they can still share the same space. They can they can still talking about it, okay, I can see the other people over there. I might join them later on, or I might have some friends that coming in to meet me in two o'clock, but now 150, I talk to this group of friends first then I migrate or move to the other side. So these are the um, theory that actually we need to uh, work with our China client rather than say, go into a project say, okay, I give you such a nice elevations. Uh, we're talking about economies. Uh, we're talking about the, 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 the customers' uh, activities as economies. So um, uh, just getting some uh, pictures about that. Um, the floor pan, you can still put up whatever things that you feel nice uh, to the interiors, uh, which is actually, I'm not going to work, go into that. But you need to build different scenes, okay, under one one roof to to, to cater different um, activities together. So, for example, I'm still um, getting some eye-catching porn things, and then um, um, sit down, a group, eating, drinking, business, Maybe or go on the bar, get on the um, the um, the the um, uh, your laptop and do things. Interestingly, up to the moment, everything that I mentioned about that, you may say, okay, it's normal. It's normal happening to you. But in China, it was interesting. I'm not saying they're bad. Somehow they are so even, you can say more advanced than us. But they don't understand why we need to do this. So you need to need talking to them why they're talking about. Because they say that you're moving your customer from here to there to here to there. You're not just a random um, um, layout. So for example, going in here uh, to, to be a, a, like a, a buffet, um, getting a, a, a restaurant. Everybody thought that actually a restaurant is a restaurant. 
But think about that, okay? A restaurant might not be a restaurant. Maybe it's actually a, an area that you're allowing your customer to sign the deal of a big contract. So how do you actually design that they can still allowing that kind of activities, but on the other side, some kind of maybe big mama or big daddy is actually still having their breakfast over there. So these are the things that you need to work with your client, particularly in China, because they, they may not have that kind of exposure, even though they understand it, they read the magazine, but they may not gone through that, you can say, in their heart. So you need to work with them. So you talk to them about all these things. Um, different angles. Uh, then you might also create some other, um, you can say, more closely areas. This is actually very common. I mean, when I come here half an hour earlier, I, I walk around this space, and, and you can still find this thing, very common. But in China, they may not be that kind of comfortable having a group here, a group there. But somehow when you design, when you're work, working with them, you need to explain to them, hey, this, how does it work? For example, by like creating a higher table, a lower table, so they can actually have that kind of varieties. Okay. And then uh, creating some other uh, environments. Um, I might go faster. The other thing that actually you, you need to work with your client in China, you're just telling them how spatial and functions come together. Um, we are still facing an environment in China. Many of our clients feel that a room is a room. A room means four walls, a floor, and a ceiling. But nowadays, you need to tell them, no, a function is a space. A function doesn't mean that you, you, you have walls. Uh, uh, this function and that function has a relationship. They may have an overlapping relationship. They may have a, some kind of a adjacent relationship. So these are the things that actually we need to educate them. We need to talk to them. OK, um, we are designing another very um, you can say um, um, young space. We're talking about a layout here going up. We're still creating a big, uh, you can say, communal area. We, based on the architecture, we're creating pockets, but they can enjoy bigger space. So these are the things that actually, when we work with the client, that we need to tell them why we need to do this, not just because of you, you want a piece of nice architecture or you want a a, 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 I want to put in a, a nice, uh, you can say, hour over there. So we, we, we need to work with them, okay? And uh, nowadays, because the design uh, was infusing between your personal activities and your work and your social, so it, it's kind of like a, like a, a many circles come together. We're looking at, this, at, at the subset rather than the circle itself. So these are the things that we need to uh, work with and what we are trying to kind of get it, okay? And uh, say, for example, uh, the biggest space uh, in the center, we, we got a hall, we're building a buffet. Uh, if they don't need to um, do the survey, we close it down and when it open, it add on another, you can see dimension to the space. And um, uh, these are the things that actually we, we are definitely need to uh, work with our client. Okay. And then um, it was interesting that when we, as I mentioned about, we need to tell them, now, number three is what? This is the way that we work with our client. Because they will say, okay, job down number one, job down number two, then job down number three. So these are the things that we were talking about. In, in terms of we talk, talking about a uh, 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 future design or future design. We're talking about positioning, we're talking about space integration, we're talking about living attitudes, okay? When we come to living attitudes, we definitely say, okay, you can use this, you can use, uh, um, uh, 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 say for example, this pattern, this color, uh, uh, that ceiling come together, and but somehow you can still talking about how the space come together, how they move from area to uh, that area in terms of giving them a, a, a you can say, your, your personality to that, okay? Um, I'll go faster, which is actually, I feel a little bit hungry already. Um, function, definitely, a function is space. I, I really want to tell the client, say, uh, you're not designing a room, you're designing a function. You're designing a, a function means a space, okay? 
And like for example, this is actually the engineer's vestibule. A lot of people putting console table, putting a big artwork at the at the at the entrance of an apartment. But why could we just build a very nice storage cabinet? You can open it, enjoy something inside. But if you want to close it, you can see the other things. Um, of course. Uh, in China, they, they like for example this one. They they still like to go into a little bit um, um, locked, glittery and uh, luxurious items. And for example, this is actually a boys' room uh, using baseball glove. That is actually a bad hat. Um, but telling them this is an actual function that actually you can creating a space with. Okay. And then by the end of the day, we go into saying, okay, this is actually, honestly, this is actually our, our company's, you can say, design philosophy. We, we want simple space. Mm -hmm. But how to get the simple space with the a luxurious lifestyle? This is actually the positioning that we want to get projected to our client. For example, like this is actually a simple sales office happening for San. <laughs> we just get a simple box. And a wall, which is actually the center. There was a couple of pillars, and I mean, like here, for example, this this four pillars here. But how how do we make use of the pillars to become a good space? So we're, we're building a a wall in the center, which is coming. You you catch your eye. You you already expressing your your living attitude, and then you're talking about simple space. But somehow you feel luxurious about it. This is actually what we are getting them to. Uh, we're punching holes for, for, uh, between the pillars and then we go from function to function, from space to space, and then you add on uh, your, you can say, your, your touch, your, your personal, whatever, design touch on it. Okay, and then uh, getting a, a big space around you, creating uh, different um, uh, pocket areas, uh, rather than creating different rooms and allowing them to do different function uh, in a in a bigger space. Okay, so this is simple properties sales office. This is it, and uh, I I hope that actually what I mean is I'm trying to share with people or everybody here is is when we work in China, it doesn't mean that either you come in and say. This is me, okay? You like it a lot, you buy it a lot, this is me. Uh, I'm a, a good designer, so if you buy it, it means that you, you agree with me. Or you go in saying, telling them, hey, what do you want? Okay, you need a chair, I give you a chair. You, you, can, you can tell your story, but you just need to how to communicate with them. Say, for example, as I mentioned about you, you bring them some story later on, you're telling some strategy, some step, so they can follow you, and they can understand it bit by bit, then they will follow you. Then actually you can tell them actually what you want to propose, meeting the needs not to the client, that's our strategy, not meeting the needs of the clients, but meeting the needs of that project. Because that project representing an economy that actually you're facing. Okay, so this is actually I want to share with everybody tonight. And uh, anyway, I'm done. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, thank you very much. Thank you to both speakers again, Mr. Anand and Mr. Alistair. Thank you.